Yo, I'm going to do a little wood burning project. I got an old neon transformer I took out of a old cigarette sign I found. I'm going to try to do some wood burning. They call it like Lichtenberg wood burning or something like that. A lot of people use transformers out of microwaves. Those are extremely dangerous and... Um, these neon transformers are just a little bit less extremely dangerous. I took it all apart and I, I put two wires together because I want to make a Jacob's Ladder and make sure that this thing actually works. I got it on and I'm just going to plug it in. And um, Initially I had, the, I had the connections a little too far apart and when they are they actually make like... These are steel so they're magnetically conductive. So when they were a little too far apart, I, I thought the transformer wasn't working and I, I saw them kind of pull together a little bit. So I just put them together a little bit closer. And there it is. I just plug it in. I just got to make sure I don't touch anything. The only thing I'm touching is the plug. I could play with this all day long. In fact, I love the sound. Sounds really cool. So there it is, it's working. I messed around with the gap just for fun because I like playing with this stuff. I got it just right. That's just cool as shit. My camera can't even focus on it. Okay, so I soldered some leads on here. Um, this is just some power cable I took out of a scrap car. And um, I soldered them in and I black taped it really good. And I, I put these ends on it and soldered those in and black taped that up really good. And then I, all I had laying around for, for copper is just some pipe. That I just cut into a point because that's all I had laying around and um, when you do this you want to make sure you never touch both leads at the same time because if you do if any current goes through your hands it can go right through your heart and kill you and you could die so just as a precautionary measure, I'm only I'm going to make sure I only touch one cable if I ever need to touch anything at all. I don't even like that idea. I'm probably just going to touch these on here and turn this power on. I don't even know what on and off is because it's a pull cable switch. So I got to be really careful with that. Um, for right now, I'm just going to put these these probes on here and I'll leave them kind of close because if I plug this thing in and it's on make sure none of these wires are touching me if this thing's on it's gonna start um, doing some nasty stuff Ooh, it's on oh shit okay There it's off. So I got a scrap piece of wood here, a scrap piece of diamond willow. It it dried wrong, so it's all cracked up. And I'm just going to use this for a test piece because I got a really nice, cool looking piece of wood I'm going to try to do this on. And um, I guess I'll just touch these two electrodes on here. And I got a solution of um, one tablespoon of baking soda to a cup of water. And people say you want to use a sponge brush for this. I don't have one. I'm just trying this. So I just got a regular paint brush. And you just paint this on here. It doesn't soak into the wood really good. So I don't know how well this is going to work. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn this on and see what happens. Ooh, a lot of stuff's happening. 
smoky smoky well meat try to put this in a different spot so I want some cool looking lightning bolt looking I want a thunder stick damn it so I'm gonna I don't know you can move these around put them in different places Well, that actually works a lot faster than a lot of the videos I've seen on this. Funky. It's trying to do something. Might be too far away. Here, maybe I need to paint some more. Paint some more junk on here. There it goes. Oh, that is so cool. Here, I'll try a spot. I'll, I'll go longer now. I'll try a longer spot. Everything's going with the grain and it's burning really quick. All the videos I've seen on this, they use like plywood or something and they go against the grain and it takes a long time. This is still really awesome. Seems like when I go farther away and I use less water, I get a way better effect. Wow, that's what I want right there. Super cool. See how that looks? That's just an awesome look. I can't wait to do a nice stick. I got these probes probably about two feet apart. I think that works better than putting them close together. This transformer works really nice. I'm going to clean up this piece of wood. They say use a toothbrush and some bleach and water. To clean up all of the, all of the, um, the charcoal. Now that I've done this, I got a regular nylon brush. They say you just want to put a little water on it and just scrub this off.
that's pretty much the look I'm after. That's pretty cool, man. I'm digging it. So I'm going to do one of these projects like this in the future. Pretty darn cool look for a stick. Okay, bye.